restored marriage testimony. After his third proposal and we remarried. Davina, how did your restoration journey actually begin? It always started because I was a difficult woman to be around and everyone who knew me would laugh because of the woman who prided herself as having no control and refused to be in submission to anyone or anything. After I married, I was obsessed and I only thought about my husband 24 hours a day, what he was doing and thinking. I also thought a lot, but my earthly husband was always good to me until he got tired of me and the things I did, and I sensed it he had emotionally left me after he lost interest. Next, he said he didn't love me anymore and wanted to see me as far away from him as he could get. When I look it into his eyes, he looked through me as if I was nothing. All the feelings that I expressed to him were ignored and not reciprocated. Everything got worse and when I tried to hold on to him and not the Lord because I was needy and confusing and couldn't make any sense of the lonely nights and dreary weekends alone, I became like a mad crazed woman, like a wide wounded animal. While everything was falling apart, I sensed that there was joy on the other side. But I didn't know that this was God's way of drawing me to Him and rescuing me from that unbearable pain and the woman who I was and who everyone despised, myself included. How did God change your situation, Davina, as you sought Him wholeheartedly? When I didn't know what to do anymore, Tired of trying, of crying, of regret, I told my heavenly husband, let your will be done, because I don't want to keep suffering like this. I didn't want to miss my ex-husband because we got divorced when he had not of me. What principles from God's words and through our resources, Davina, did the Lord teach you during this trial? Read the Bible day and night, night and day, and declare the word as your truth. Be sure to pray and fast. I would read how God can and will restore your marriage several times and started the courses which are very good to keep you moving forward and changing. What are the most difficult times that God helped you through Davina? At the time, everything was difficult for me. It was unbearable pain when I felt the pain of rejection, the neediness. I thought I would never have a family like I dreamed of because I was divorced and I found out about the other woman. When I begged him not to leave me alone, when he asked me not to drink anymore in so many situations that were crashing down in my life that I cried to so much pain, mainly pain in my soul. Davina, what was the turning point of your restoration? That's when I left everything in God's hands and didn't want to think about my ex-husband anymore. I fully, truly let it go. Tell us how it happened, Davina. Did your husband just walk in the front door? Davina, did you suspect or could you tell you were close to being restored? We are married for 12 years and from the start it was very difficult. I was a foolish person but my husband was always affectionate and I, in my ignorance, did everything wrong and ended up making him walk away from me. After I confessed my mistakes to him, everything got worse. He started to go out and come back at dawn and leave me until one day he asked me for a divorce. Oh, I cried and I cried to God and I searched the internet for a way to alleviate my pain and with God's mercy, I found our mind and followed the principle of the Bible found in the book, God can and will restore your marriage. I was devastated fighting to get my marriage back and the more I wanted, 
the more I despised myself and ended up exhausted. I cried bitter tears, but my heavenly husband tried his best to get me to understand that God would do it. The book title says that, but I just didn't get it. All too soon, I fell in deep despair of being alone and thought of ending it all. The divorce was about to happen, then in one day it really happened. We actually got divorced, and that's when my heavenly husband opened my eyes and showed me how much I idolized not him, but my earthly husband. I thought about him all the time and left my true love, setting him aside. I understood that he wanted me, but I wanted my earthly husband, so he removed lover and friend and made me a loading. By this time, I'd made my way through the first three courses, but resisted the course I needed. I didn't want an abundant life without my husband. On the day I reached the end and I was tempted to start course one again, I asked my heavenly husband to fill me with more of him and help me release my grip on my ex to fill me with forgiveness and not hold back kind words. From the moment we got married, even before that, my life consisted of fights, disputes, and out-of-control behavior. As I got closer to my heavenly husband and the fear was draining out of my heart because I felt my beautiful heavenly husband flowing me over and through me. I was still in my house, but he had already left and got involved in living with the other woman, for which I was foolish to find out if it was true because I started a huge fight when I had found out and hurt myself and my journey even more and knowing who she was, who my heavenly husband tried to shield from me, also hurt me a lot. So when I went to live with my father, but I didn't work out as I had hoped so, soon I went to live with my mother and it was with my mother that I spent close to four years healing and changing. I no longer worked or went out at all. I remained in the home, shut up with the Lord. When I didn't have any more strength to pray for my marriage, I asked the Lord to have His will in my life. When out of nowhere, my ex-husband showed up and started to come to my mother's house to visit us both. Soon, after we started dating again, and he asked me to marry him. I accepted after he stirred proposing and we were married. All honor and glory to our beloved heavenly husband. Just a month later, we discovered we are expecting our first child after the restoration, and I knew it was time for me to write my testimony. May I tell you, my beloved friend, that has Erin said after the restoration, it would not be easy, and it's true. Many old habits trying to dominate my life, the stresses of everyday life, the tiredness, and even small discouragement make me close to slipping into my old ways. Once my beloved slipped to the background rather than remaining first, I stumble. I have fallen several times, but by the grace of my heavenly husband, he is there and will always lift me up, finish what he started. He began giving me a new and abundant life. My God is who will fulfill his promise in my life because I do not want to be even an inch away from my beloved. I'm very grateful for his love, power, and faithfulness in my life. Thank you, my heavenly husband, for everything and know that each day I continue to hope that I may serve you in a much more meaningful way. This is another desire of my heart, to have my heavenly husband as passionate about him as I am. He's not yet the spiritual leader of our home, but I believe he will soon be. I want my family founded on the rock and I am content to wait. He has already fulfilled many of my hopes and desires, so why not this one? Thank you very much. I love you, my heavenly husband. Would you recommend any of our resources in particular that helped you, Davina? Yes. 
the Bible and the book, how God can and will restore your marriage, is what helped me so much to keep my eyes on Him and keep my mouth shut. Also the book, A Wise Woman and the Courses, everything on your side. I know that everything was given to Ari to give to us, to help us and edify us and transform us. Take the courses and read the books. This I pray in the name of the Lord. Would you be interested in helping encouraging another woman, Davina? Yes, for sure. Either way, Davina, what kind of encouragement would you like to leave women with in conclusion? Do not give up. Even if everything says it's hopeless, no matter how long it takes. Just think of how many years it took you to get to this state, this mess. So give him time to heal and transform you. And don't try to restore it yourself or be resistant to what is offered here, as it will only prolong your healing and restoration. God says yes and amen to restoration because what God has united men cannot truly separate it. God is faithful and remains faithful. He fulfills everything he promised. When I was losing strength and hope, he lifted me up and helped me to continue trust and so to God will do for you, my beloved friend. Just believe, trust, and surrender everything to our Heavenly Husband.